Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the ankle strengthening series. Um, you should have done the stretches and the mobility test on Sunday. On Tuesday, instead of Wednesday, you had the first part of the ankle strengthening and today we're going to progress those same four exercises. So on Tuesday we did a calf raise, we did the slow squat, okay, with the train track feet, we did the foot press with the resistance band, and we also did the side squat our way out here. So we're going to try and work on progressing all of these things slightly differently today. So the first thing we do with a calf raise, if we're calf raising on two feet, the easiest thing we can do is to calf raise on one foot. So without too much of an explanation, you're going to be doing a calf raise on one foot. Obviously it's a lot harder. So if you need support, look for the wall, something to hold on to, kitchen benches, whatever it is, and you're just looking to control you probably can't slow this down as much as the two legs this time. Depends how high you can get. If you can go as high as you can and maybe hold and come down slowly. It is awkward. That's why I want you to progress onto this level. So from calf raise to single leg calf raise. Exercise number two. This is called, I don't really know, it's, I think it's, a, it's a running thing that I found and I'm going to call it an overload lunge. So what we're going to do, we're not going to step as long as we usually step for a lunge. I'm going to step here, I'm going to turn my foot, so my foot is flat behind, and I need to pull my trousers right up for this one. So what we're going to do with this lunge, we're going to, rather than keeping your knee behind your toe like we always do for squats and lunges, this time I want it to go really far past. And I, what I'm trying to do is let go of my ankle here to let my leg push forward over the top of the ankle. And all we're going to do in this exercise is bounce. It looks really funny and really weird, but we're literally going to bounce. Okay, and we're just going to do this 50 times. And all this is doing is just pushing the range of motion that's available on your ankle. So my heel underneath here is raised, and we're just testing how far the ankle can go. It's not a big explosive movement. I'm trying to move my hands so you can see it. We're just bouncing forward. You might get a bit of discomfort in the knee, so just be very careful with that one. But it's a little bit awkward to begin with, but you're just trying to find a point where you're overloading beyond the toes and can just bounce bounce like here, maybe that'll work better than going all the way over the top. It looks a bit silly, but it's a, allegedly it's supposed to really improve the range of motion in your ankle. It's a brand new one to me, so it's a bit of a trial and error process, but please be careful when you're doing it. Exercise number three will be with the resistance band. So the other day we were doing a foot press, a two foot press. Today, we're just gonna take the band around one foot. We're gonna try and put, if it's a towel, it doesn't matter. Pull it real tight, and we're gonna do slow circles, really looking for any sticky spots, and just trying to work the band through them. If you have pain, then just be careful with what you're doing. Avoid that pain in this movement. Don't try to exploit it and break through it. Just work around in these circles, and you'll do that on both sides. For the fourth exercise, we did side squats last week. And progressing it now, we're going to just do a single leg squat. So all you're going to do with your single squat is lift a leg. Again, walls, worktops, anything you need to be able to give you extra bounce. And we're just going to squat down to the ground. You can see that my toes and heel are flat. And we're just going to do five squats on each side. Definitely wobbly, definitely going to expose tightness in your ankle. So if your ankle's really tight, there's only so far you can go. So the looser your ankle becomes, the more you'll be able to drop down into that squat. And just work on trying to keep your upper body and head as high as you can. But you can see already mine comes all the way far forward as well. So those are your four exercises for today. We have single leg calf raise, overload lunges, the resistance band foot circles, and a single leg squat. They are all a kick up from the previous video. So if they're too painful, they don't quite work for you, go back again. Keep repeating that first video. Please make sure you do the warm up from Sunday as well. So that's one, two, three. Don't jump start, so don't jump from the Sunday straight to these exercises. Make sure you go through the process and respond to how your ankle feels. Here comes the recap. Hopefully this has been useful. Please give me as much feedback as you can. And we're gonna do a mobility test tomorrow. So that's Friday. So we did the mobility test on Sunday. So for whatever score you got, we're going to check it again tomorrow morning after you've done this workout.
Thank you.